The morning of the annual company retreat dawned bright and early, a welcome break from the monotony of office work. This year, the retreat was at a picturesque lakeside resort, and the entire staff was buzzing with excitement. I was particularly looking forward to it, having heard tales of the fun activities and bonding experiences from colleagues who had attended in previous years. Little did I know that this retreat would turn into an unforgettable adventure in a way I could never have imagined. My name is Alex, a typical guy in my late 20s, working as a software engineer at Tech Solutions. On the morning of the retreat, I dressed casually in jeans and a comfortable shirt, ready for a day of team-building activities and relaxation. As I arrived at the resort, I greeted my colleagues, picked up my registration packet, and headed to the welcome desk to get my name tag. A friendly young woman at the desk handed me a lanyard with a name tag attached. I glanced at it quickly, Alexis. I chuckled to myself, figuring it was a simple typo. My name, Alex, was often mistaken for Alexis, especially in written form. With a shrug, I decided not to make a fuss about it. After all, it was just a name tag, and everyone knew who I was. The day kicked off with a series of icebreaker games. We formed small groups, introducing ourselves and sharing fun facts. When it was my turn, I held up my name tag and said, well, it looks like I'm Alexis today. My group laughed and we continued with the activities. However, as the morning progressed, I noticed that people were addressing me as Alexis more often than not. During a break, I wandered over to a group of women from the marketing department. They were chatting animatedly about their plans for the weekend. One of them, a bubbly blonde named Jessica, turned to me and said, Hey Alexis, have you heard about the spa packages they offer here? You should join us later. I blinked, momentarily caught off guard by the suggestion. Before I could correct her, another colleague chimed in. Yeah, Alexis, it'd be fun. We could all use a bit of pampering. I found myself nodding along, partly out of politeness and partly because I was curious. I'd never really considered going to a spa before and the idea intrigued me. The group dispersed and I found myself following Jessica to the spa's front desk. Hi, we'd like to book a spa package for later, Jessica said, turning to me. What do you think, Alexis? Should we go for the full treatment? Sure, why not? I replied, feeling a mix of amusement and anticipation. With our appointments booked, we headed back to the main event area. The rest of the morning flew by in a blur of activities and team-building exercises. As lunchtime approached, I found myself wondering how the spa experience would go. I'd never been one for facials or massages, but I was curious to see what all the fuss was about. When the time came, Jessica and I made our way to the spa. The receptionist greeted us warmly and led us to the changing rooms. Here's your robe and slippers, Alexis, she said, handing me a plush robe and a pair of soft slippers. I hesitated for a moment, then took them with a smile. In the changing room, I slipped into the robe and looked at myself in the mirror. With the name tag pinned to the robe, I really did look like an Alexis. I chuckled to myself, thinking about how surreal this whole day had been. The spa treatment itself was a revelation. I relaxed under the skillful hands of the masseuse, feeling knots and tension melt away. The facial was surprisingly soothing, and I found myself enjoying the pampering more than I had expected. After the spa session, Jessica and I headed back to the main lodge, feeling rejuvenated. That was amazing, I said, genuinely impressed. Thanks for suggesting it. No problem, Alexis, she replied with a grin. Glad you enjoyed it. The afternoon continued with more team activities, but I noticed that people were treating me a bit differently. It was subtle, but there was a certain camaraderie with the women in the office that I hadn't felt before. They included me in their conversations, invited me to join their groups, and seemed genuinely pleased to have me around. As the day wound down, we gathered around the campfire for a closing ceremony. The CEO gave a speech, thanking everyone for their participation and highlighting the importance of teamwork and unity. As the sun set and the fire crackled, I found myself reflecting on the day's events. Being Alexis for a day had given me a unique perspective on my colleagues and myself. When I returned to my cabin that evening, I found a note on my bed. Join us for a girl's night in at cabin five. Jessica. I hesitated, then decided to go. 
After all, this whole day had been about stepping out of my comfort zone. Cabin 5 was filled with laughter and chatter when I arrived. The women had gathered for a night of movies, snacks, and games. They welcomed me with open arms, and I quickly found myself caught up in the fun. We watched romantic comedies, painted our nails, and shared stories about our lives and dreams. It was a side of my colleagues I had never seen before, and I felt a deep sense of connection with them. As the night wore on, I realized that being Alexis had allowed me to experience something truly special. I had gained a new understanding of my colleagues, built stronger relationships, and discovered a different side of myself. It wasn't about the name tag or the clothes, it was about the experiences and connections that came with it. The next morning, as we packed up and prepared to leave the resort, I looked at my name tag one last time. Alexis had given me an unforgettable day, but it was time to return to being Alex. I handed the name tag back to the receptionist with a smile. Thank you for everything, I said. She smiled back. You're welcome, Alex. I'm glad you enjoyed your stay. As we boarded the bus to head back to the office, I felt a sense of gratitude for the unexpected adventure. The name tag mishap had turned into a transformative experience, one that I would carry with me long after the retreat was over. I had spent a day as Alexis, and in doing so, I had discovered new friendships, new perspectives, and a new appreciation for the people around me. Back at the office, things slowly returned to normal. My colleagues and I fell back into our usual routines, but there was a subtle change in our interactions. The bonds we had formed during the retreat remained strong, and I found myself more connected to the women in the office. They included me in their conversations, sought my input, and treated me as one of their own. One day, a few weeks after the retreat, Jessica approached my desk with a smile. Hey Alex, a few of us are going out for drinks after work. Wanna join us? I hesitated for a moment, then nodded. Sure, I'd love to. As we gathered at the local bar that evening, I realized how much I had grown to appreciate these moments of camaraderie. The name tag mishap had been a blessing in disguise, opening doors to new friendships and deeper connections. As I raised my glass for a toast, I smiled at the thought of that fateful day. To unexpected adventures, I said. To Alexis, Jessica added with a wink. We all laughed and clinked our glasses together, celebrating the unique journey that had brought us closer together. It was a day that had started with a simple mistake, but it had turned into an experience that I would cherish forever. And though I was Alex once more, a part of me would always remember the day I spent as Alexis. Thank you so much for watching till now. It means the world to have you here. This community is all about empowering each other and celebrating the incredible journeys of everyone on their path to living authentically. If you're ever feeling lost or alone, remember you have a whole family here for you. Hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, and let's keep inspiring each other, sending you all the love and strength in the world. Until next time, live your life by your rules.